I will give you an example of uh, how lack of diversity happens and why it happens. And an important thing is that it doesn't happen because white male managers are inherently evil and don't want diversity. Uh, it happens for other reasons. And one way it can look is like this. You know, when big corporations like yours are recruiting um, managers for the first level, um, you would think that they are looking at the whole talent pool that is that should be all of society, or could be all of society. Um, but when you see who actually is a manager, you see that, well, they are actually not looking in the whole pool. At first, there are almost no women um, in the top management. And in some businesses, there are no women at all at management levels. Uh, so they have actually only looked in half the pool and excluded women from uh, their uh, recruiting. Um, but not all men are eligible either. So one group that is uh, excluded too is uh, men with immigrant background, men from underrepresented groups, discriminate, discriminated groups. In Sweden, they are approximately 16% uh, of the population, depending on how you, how you count it. Another group that you don't recruit from, generally, is men below the age of 25. Um, they are deemed too immature in many organizations. Um, I myself found that I've always been a person with a lot of ideas and projects I want to do. And I had difficulties getting them done, getting people to listen to me and believe in, in these projects until I turned 30 and had children on my own. Then people started to listen to me. Um, so before that, I wasn't counted for. As far as I can tell, I had the same ideas and same kind of skills before. Uh, another group that is excluded when you talk about the first level of managers in, most, in many big corporations is uh, people above 35 because they are deemed too, uh, too hard to form. You want to be able to form them in a certain way. Or you, you say that, well, if they are not managers already, they probably don't want to be and then they, are not, then they don't have the qualities it takes to be, be a good manager. And this age span is very interesting because this is where many corporations recruit for their first level of management, which is the first step in a career. Uh, but it's also the time in life when most people have children. And having children means in most families that the woman will take a lot more responsibility for household and children and will be less prone to take on challenging assignments at work. This is not true for everybody, but statistically this is how it works. Um, and so what happens for when many women is that their career sort of gets to a halt in this, uh, this age span, and they have, um, and then when they are around 35, the children are big enough, old enough to take better care of themselves. So she feels like, well, now I'm ready to take on more challenging work, only to find that her um, business, her employer, has a, a time limit for the for recruitment for management. So she's not uh, recognized as a possible manager, although she would have the qualities. So what happens when people get children, uh, statistically, is that men's career tends to take off. 
Um, and women's careers tend to get to a halt. Um, and this is a problem because in this case, the corporation is not only missing out on good management capabilities in the women who are now ready to become managers, but they are not allowed to. But they're also missing out on the competence in the men who are, for whom it's important to have a close relationship to their children, and they are not ready to do the career moves until they are 35 or their children are old enough. Those men will either seek another employer or just think that, well, I will not make a career because it's not important enough for me to sacrifice the connection I have with my children. And in both cases, the company misses out on, on resource and competence here. Uh, there is yet another group who is not included in the search for talent when it comes to management. And that is men who are openly homo, bi, or, in, or transsexual. Um, and they are approximately 8% of the population. And so what we have is when looking for managers, um, most corporations are not looking in the whole talent pool but only in this little square piece, you see, uh, of the pool. And this could be quite all right if we are convinced that the talent of the world is concentrated to this square of the pool. Um, if it's not, then we're, have, we're in trouble. 